Yeah, I see lots of good work so far. That's great. By the way, is there any more homework to turn in? Take about another minute, another minute, try to wrap up the problem that you're on. Hopefully you've done the first one and you're working on the second one at least. If you're done with the second one, I do want you to try the third one. example we're going to try to factor first. If we don't have to, that's great. If we do have to, we do that. But in either case, we look for the LCD right after that. So on our first example, well, hopefully you saw this and said, well, I need to make that a fraction. Did you do that? Good. Then we go ahead and find because one, you can't factor and you can't factor B plus three. So our LCD in our case, not too bad. It's just the B plus three. That's the only denominator we have. Therefore, it has to be the LCD. Did you find that as well? Yes. Okay. Now, next we go and multiply. This fraction is great, it already has the LCD. But this fraction, we're going to multiply B plus 3 over B plus 3. Did you get that far as well? We extend our line. We put some parentheses like we know how to do. That's not a problem. We notice that, in fact, we do have a common denominator already. That's what we wanted, B plus 3. This is really just B plus 3 because the 1 doesn't do anything. And that's the same as what we wanted. So we'll make one fraction out of this. Our denominator is the LCD, B plus 3. On the numerator, we're going to have B plus 3 times 3. I'm just going to write the 3 first because that's easier to see that we need to distribute. That's the only reason. And then the plus B, that's our second numerator. After that, we certainly can't simplify. We're going to distribute. We'll combine some like terms. We'll try to factor, but none of this can factor. And so you're done. How many have got that far? That's great. That's fantastic. Good for you. Okay, next one. Where we couldn't factor the second, well, the first one, we can factor this one. So we'll look at those denominators and try to factor. It's, it's very similar to the, the one I had up on the board here just a little while ago. So we'll factor that. The numerators we leave alone. What factors out of our denominator here? X. So we factor that out and we get, hopefully, 2x. Very good. Minus the 3x will stay the same. What factors out of this denominator? Two. And we get X Very good. How many of you have made it that far, would you? Good. Very good. Now, we get to find our LCD. Again, the LCD is just a listing out of the different factors. So when I look at this problem, honestly, the first thing I look for is not the big ones. I look for the small ones. I look for the numbers first. I look for any numbers I have. So here on my denominators, I'm seeing, first off, the 2. I'm going to write the 2 first. Then I look for any x's or y's or variables hanging out all by themselves. So I've got the 2. Then I'm going to write the x. And lastly, I'm going to write any big factors that I see. I see the 2x plus 3. If I see it twice, there are different, fact, uh, different fractions, so I only need it one time to cover both of them. Are you with me on that? Mm -hmm. 
And then I double check. Like, all right, do I have the x up there? Yeah, I do. Do I have the 2x plus 3? OK, I got that. Do I have the 2? Yeah. Do I have the 2x plus 3? Yeah, I already covered that. So that's my LCD. Did you make that far? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Now we get to multiply by what's missing. On the left side, I notice I have an x and the 2x plus 3, but I'm missing the 2. On the right hand side, I've got the 2, I've got the 2x plus 3, I'm missing the x. Now we multiply, we get our 10 over 2x, 2x plus 3. Never distribute that denominator. 3x squared, like we had last time, and 2x. 2x plus 3 over there as well. We notice LCD occurs in all three spots. That's exactly what we want. We can make one fraction out of this thing. We'll get 10 minus 3x squared. Over our, our LCD. We would try to factor, but you can't factor that thing, so you're done. <coughs> How many people made it that far? Good, that's fantastic. Did you try the third one? Yeah. It's kind of fun, right? Lots of good factoring stuff. We like factoring now. Good. You better, right? Because you're doing a lot of it. If you don't, I will. Yeah, of course, the first thing we, we do do is we, we factor the denominators. We have to. Now, one of these things, actually, both of them are stuff we've seen before. One's a diamond problem with no extra step. Why doesn't it have the extra step on it? Great, those are kind of nice, right? We, those are quick. Diamond problem, 4 and 4, 2 and 2. We just do x plus 2, x plus 2. Did you get that as well? Mm -hmm. The other one is the difference of squares, which should just be bam in your head at this point. We got x squared minus 4, but x plus 2, x minus 2. Did you do those as well? Yes. Okay. So here again, we got 4 and 4. The numbers that work there are 2 and 2. x plus 2, <coughs> x plus 2. Here we have the difference of squares, and we know how to factor that already as x minus 2, x plus 2. So the factoring shouldn't hold this up anymore. That should be an easy part of this, not, not too, too bad. Next we get to find the LCD. Our LCD is going to be every different factor that we have up there and the largest power that occurs. But I mentioned one thing to you, and this is why we're doing this example. Before you calculate, or before you find the LCD, you have to make the denominators as concise as possible. All right? You have to make them as good as possible. So the problem here is that if you just do this, you don't quite have the LCD yet. And the reason why is because, can you write this differently? Yes. How could you write it? That's going to make a difference in your LCD because that's a larger power. So here we'll do that. This one, we can't put that together, so we leave it. But notice how this is going to change our LCD right here. That right there, that power 2. So now we go through, look for different factors, and here's how you do it. You say, what are the different factors that I see? Name, name a different factor that I see. X minus 2. Okay, I get X minus 2. What other different factors do you see up there? And you can take the largest power that you find of X plus 2. So while I have X plus 2 in both spots, what's the largest power? So you have to put the 2 there. Okay, that's a must. We practice this when we're finding LCD, but you have to remember to do that in these type of problems. And now we're going to double check just to make sure we got that. Do we have an x plus 2 squared? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have an x minus 2? Yeah. Do we have an x plus 2? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have at least that much. It's right there. Are you with me on this, this LCD in this case? Yes. Okay. We're still going to multiply by the appropriate things now. Let's try to figure this out together. On the left-hand side, this one's going to be the easier of the two sides to really see. Can you tell me what's missing that I need to multiply by, please? Great. On the right-hand side, 
Am I missing anything? Good, I'm missing x plus 2 because I want squared. I only have one of them. So it's already got the x minus 2. I just need one more x plus 2. You okay with this so far? All right. Well, we know what to do. We're going to extend our line. Extend our line. Put some parentheses. I'm going to do an extra step here just so you can see the concise form of this to make sure that we actually do have LCD. Um, I am going to write this part first. My 6x, I like that first because we're going to be distributing that in a second. My x, I'm going to keep that in front. So we're going to have 6x, x minus 2, all over x minus 2, x plus 2 squared. Ladies and gentlemen, should I simplify this? No, no. no, I'm purposely unsimplifying to keep my common denominator. Plus x times x plus 2 over, this is x minus 2, and look at, that's x plus 2 squared. And right there we can see that I do have my common denominator. That's what we wanted. So we'll continue up here. We're going to write this as one fraction before we distribute. Now, I know some of you are thinking, why do we actually do that? In this example, it's not so crucial because we have a plus sign. But do you notice that if that would be a minus sign, that minus sign would distribute to both terms, all right? And if you distribute now, some of you are probably going to forget that. I can't have you forget that. So we wait until we get one fraction before we distribute and combine like terms. That's the idea. Now we get to distribute. So can you tell me what we're going to have if I distribute this thing on the numerator? What am I going to get? 6x squared. Beautiful. All right. And then? Minus Perfect. Keep going. Plus x squared plus x or plus 2x. Okay. Not so bad. Not so painful. Right? Just distribute. Denominator stays exactly the same. In fact, once you find your LCD, you really don't change it until the very last step if you can simplify some stuff. Next step. I see my x squared, so it's giving me 7x squared. I see this gives me minus 10x. Now, the next thing you might try to do is at least think through the factoring, okay? Now, if you look at the numerator, you see you can factor out the x. Do you see what I'm talking about? You can do that, but you're going to get 7x minus 10 which is not going to simplify, so it's up to you whether you want to factor it or leave it in this case. Okay, you just, just check it, make sure that if you did factor it, it wouldn't simplify, then you can leave it. If you factor it and it can't simplify, then of course you do that. Would you like to try one on your own? Okay, let's do one on your own, and uh, we'll, we'll go step by step. Well, I'll have you do each step and we'll see what, how it goes. We need to move kind of quickly through it. 